gentlemen, good evening. I would like to call to order the Scott Bird Common Council on this December 13, 2021. Uh, we're going to call our meeting to order this evening here in downtown Scottsburg. Uh, the first thing we do when we call our meeting to order is we're going to have prayer for the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you don't mind, let's all stand and uh, have prayer and let's say the Pledge of Allegiance. Father, we come before you this evening. We thank you for the day that you have given unto us, Father. And we thank you for this time of year. Father, it's a time just to uh, uh, reflect on... Your, your many blessings that you've given to us. The many things that you have, we've taken through. Some of these have been so hard this year. There have been so many, Father, who have uh, born, lost, who has had all kinds of issues throughout this throughout the, this year. And Father, we just thank you that you've been with us and you've kept us unto yourself, Father. Uh, Father, we just pray for your presence this time of year. This is a time of year that the world stops to, to recognize and to thank you, Father, for uh, the appearance of the Messiah 2,000 years ago. We waited 4,000 years for the Messiah, and we look back 2,000 years, we thank you for his appearance, and we thank you, and we pray for his return, Father. Uh, we bless you, and we thank you. We bless the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Bless the name of, of El Shaddai, Father, uh, you who just provide us all. Thank you for our provision of Scottsburg and and the people here, Father, we pray for wisdom, we pray for understanding, we pray for discernment, and uh, we pray for your wisdom in all these things. I pray for these counsel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Amen. Thank you, folks, very much. I apologize this evening, folks, that too, everybody, that the insurance is, was something that we've had this, and, and uh, uh, I typically like to compare quotes. So we have other quotes we're going to look at, but this has come down to the wire, so we went forward to this, and we have a lot of insurance here. So it's a, it's a big money item, so we look at that, and we're trying to look at things to get the best value that we can for the folks. So this is going over, so I do apologize to the council, I apologize to you folks out here as well. Uh, the first thing we do is roll call by the clerk treasurer, Jan Hart. Chris Albertson. Bill Hoagland. Here. Rick Vance. Here. Christian Evans. Here. Chuck Rose. Here. Mayor Amick. Here. So, sorry. It's okay. The next thing we have is the approval of the minutes of the November 29th meeting, 2021. Are there any corrections, typos, or anything else you would have? If not, we will, we will accept a motion to... Pass the minutes as approved. The minutes as presented. I, I guess, first of all, I, I wasn't here at the last meeting. I don't want to apologize for that. I had to schedule vacation around the regular meetings, and then we had to had to move the second one in November. But as I was uh, reading through the minutes, I, I had a question. I, I was I, I want to make sure that I'm on the right page here. Uh, it was uh, in regard to the uh, to the residential TIF and. In the minutes, it said that uh, that the city employees would be in, installing the infrastructure out there, and they would use TIF money plus their budget money. If I'm reading that correctly, the TIF money we are planning on utilizing in the utilities and water and sewage to provide from their from their monies. You know, basically. We don't have at this point budgets on our on our utilities. So, uh, but they do have the money in the accounts. We are working on getting budgets in with for the. For the okay, so in, 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 in the minutes it, it states the project will utilize both TIF and available utility funds to reduce the amount of debt. So what? I, and I guess we don't take any debt on, so we don't want. You know, I, I don't understand, but I, I guess in, in when we started down the road with the residential tip, I, I thought that was going to be the funding mechanism for all. Okay, so so I, I just want to make sure that we were not planning to use uh, available utility funds. I mean, at the states, and what what are what, why would we use available utility funds if we had 
Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's true. But in other words, if we have $20,000 to put a water line in, we'll do the port ourselves. So, I mean, we may pay the $20,000. Whereas, instead of farming this out to a contracting company that would maybe charge us $300,000. I, I, I understand that, but I guess I'm, I'm wondering about using utility funds to, to do that. That's the part I thought. Uh, I, I guess I, I, if, if that was if that was part of the original cost, I, I missed that. I thought it was going to be strictly test. Now, typically, if we have the funds in there, we have the money that that utility can't afford that. I want that utility because they're going to get the return. So what if so they they're investing in themselves? What, what if they pay that and then later they need that money? Well, they need the money, then we would have to go back to the we'd have to go back to the test. But at this point, I'm not going to get them down to the number. I know, but I, I guess I just I, I didn't realize that we had intended to, to use uh, you, you know regular utility funds to. That's, to that's what my, that's what my plan was, and to try to utilize the funds because it's an investment into for a water department to put new lines in and to take on another 300 new homes. I mean, you know, now where are our expenses going to get in that we're going to make more money is on the roads, is on the streets. Do you, uh, do you still believe that our department heads have the manpower, the equipment that they need to, to do the work? I do. I do. And they, they agree with that? Yes. Yeah. And, you know, again, we're not going to go in here and build out 77 houses. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just want to make know, sure, like I said, I, I wasn't here from the discussion, and I don't, I don't want to get back into that. I just was. And nor do I want the debt. I mean, I, 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 we're going to incur some debt. That's why it's going to take us about two years or better to uh, to get the residential tip going. Uh, so uh, we're trying to keep some of those maybe some of those costs as much as we can. So thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> uh, the Is there a motion to to accept the minutes as presented? Or are there other questions or comments? Christian Adams makes a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Rick Mann seconds. Are there any other questions or comments for the second? Rick Mann, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Okay, unanimous. Thank you very much. The next thing we have is the public comment sector of our meetings. Uh, we film our meetings and they're put on YouTube. And for transparency on both the city council and the board of works. But right now, you have an opportunity as the public. Uh, the city council will accept public comments. Individuals wishing to address the council will be asked to come forward and state their name for the record. Each person will have five minutes to voice their opinion. Remarks should focus on issues and not be used to target city employees or elected officials. Do we have anybody this evening that would like to come forward and uh, present a concern? Okay. Hearing nothing, we'll close that section. Now we'll go on to old business. Uh, I guess we have the first reading of, of Ordinance 2021-27, an ordinance to adopt the rental policy and reach the Mid-America Science Park. So we have a motion to pass this on first reading. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, 
like some? Unanimous? That will entertain a motion to pass ordinance 2021 27 on second and third reading vote. I'll make a motion. Christian Adams makes a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. Check for the seconds. Uh, questions, comments? All turn no. All turn say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Okay, so ordinance 2021-27 passes on three readings. Uh, the new business is first reading of, of ordinance 2021-37, amending the 2022 seller ordinance changes. Are there questions that you might have there? You'll see in your packet that some have been removed. I, I do have um, a question I think that you guys actually discussed right in the Board of Works. Um, in the salary ordinance for the Robin and Technology, the Director of Technology and Communications, um, the salary and the Director of Operations salary are the same. Um, I did see the organization chart that I think was put together, uh, Mayor, by your office. I guess the, the, the from kind of listening from Board of Works, it did appear obviously the Director of Operations is, is coming off. I just want that, if that's the case, to be reflected in the salary ordinance as well, um, if that's the intent. Does that make sense with the, the two? Director of Technology and Communications and the Director of Operations. Can I speak to that from an HR standpoint? Sure. At this point in time, we have to advertise the Director of Technology and Communications before we can promote Stacy into that position. So that's not a position we're going to be able to do that to until the end of this year, beginning of next year. So Removing the Director of Operations. Right, right. But she's currently in that Director of Operations title. So until we can get her moved out of it, we don't want to necessarily remove it. And our hope is that that will be done in everything on the December 28th meeting. Okay. Um, other than that, that's the only standpoint that I have from that. I do believe that the, my understanding from speaking with that department was that was not a position that they look to fill any time in the near five years. Okay. So at that time, it wouldn't be a problem if we removed the position. As far as my understanding is, it would not so, be a problem at that no. time. That's, that's the only question. Um, that was my problem. confusion, as I'm sure you all got in on the end of that, because it has a new position answering, as you heard me saying, and I just thought that was terribly confusing as we were <coughs> trying to get a new flow. Mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in the, Picking off on of, of Christian's comments about the, the flow chart, it, uh, it shows that the project manager, the municipal project manager, is, uh, is reporting 50 50 to Director of Technology and Communications, I think, if I'm looking at that correctly. And I think we had agreed that that person would, would report directly to the Director of Technology, 100%. In other words, this person does it for two too long. No, that's no. He's got he's he's with he's coordinating with Will. Right, exactly. Right. But, but I'm saying one super. One super. Okay, I just it, that's that one real clear in this. It's not an issue. I just wanted to make sure that if there were some questions about that, I just write them. Make sure that they're all the same. Thing. And I can tell you exactly what the job description states under reporting. I, I know. I looked at it. Uh, okay. I just okay. Good Thank question. You. Are there other questions? Okay, hearing none, then we will accept the motion to uh, pass ordinance 2021 37. Is this something, Jess, is this something that we need to pass? And I know Josh is here. We need to pass, I don't want to say contingent upon that coming off, or do we have to make once Stacy's moved on, is that something that it just falls off? Let's do it again. I think we do it later. Or if it's going to be presented at the 28th meeting, could we not do it as amended? We, we, we can if, if everything is done by then. But, okay. but I'm saying, Jan, I, I thought 
you, you wanted or you needed this done ASAP. We, yeah, we'll be starting to work on the name changes tomorrow. Okay. In our, yeah. So approve it as this tonight and then amend it later. Is that, is that like Are you saying amend it at the, on second reading? On no, I, the I was second hoping reading? everybody's okay with everything else except yeah. that one thing. I mean, I would, my office wouldn't object if, then it was, if that position is removed as amended. Wait. On the 28th. Yeah. I mean, if we're. Yeah. Or if we're not the position to, then early next year. I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, but, but we know what's on there. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, do we pass it knowing that that's going to come off? You know, I don't know what the Whatever is. you guys want to do, that's fine to just I, I think get it just split. Pass it and then. Pass it and then pass it whatever, as an amended. If, right. if it's not ready by the 28th, we do it whatever the. Next year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That, that works. That's fine. I'll make the, the motion to approve. For sure. Okay, so you made the motion first. Motion so is a second. This is second. So Bill makes a second. Okay, second. So questions, comments, concerns? We've kind of addressed. Very done. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. <coughs> Pass it on first. I'm assuming we're going to wait till second reading. No, I. Go ahead and get I'll uh, make a motion to get it. Uh, I'll make a motion to suspend the rules. Okay, Rick makes a motion to suspend the rules and pass on title only. Pass on title only. Is, uh, uh, is there a motion to go forward with that? Or a second to do that? I'll second. Shall I have those seconds? Questions, comments, concerns? Here, no. I'm here to say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign? Unanimous. Thank you very much. Now we have a make, did, we, did we actually vote on it or just agree to vote to suspend the rules? We just suspended so the rules. So we need okay. one more motion. I'll make the motion to pass on second. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll second that. Okay, so Christian made the motion. Check second. Questions, comments, concerns? Here we go. All three say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. So that passes. Okay, that's passed on that. Thank you very much. Uh, the next thing we have is before you. Uh, that's your YMCA packet. Uh, we're going to let you have those and take those home and look at those. Uh, and we'll meet again on, at the end of the month to look at this. Uh, I'll speak with Chuck to see if we can get any kind of executive session. We're not Chuck on this. But it gives you. All the information I was looking for. If you need more information, please contact me on this. So, uh, so we received this uh, just this week, and actually last. Uh, I think I got that then Friday, so I got this Thursday night. So, uh, so we want to get these to you guys so you can see all of this. Any discussion you like to have? Okay. Okay. What other what other announcements do we have? What other items? Is, uh, new business questions, comments, concerns? What, what, what do you have? Mayor, I think uh, one of the other issues that surfaced during the last meeting when I was absent was uh, premium pay, and I know we had uh, we had worked to try to use the, uh, some of the uh, American Rescue Plan money to make premium payments to, uh, to our full-time employees and work through the issues there. And, and I guess we, we really were so focused on the full-time, we didn't, we didn't give proper consideration to part-time. Not that we, we don't value them, not that uh, we don't think they're deserving. It was just kind of an oversight, to be honest with you. We weren't even sure that uh, that those funds could be used for part-time individuals. So that being said, I, I've been working with the with the councilman, and, and I think what we have tended to tentatively agreed to do is to uh, make uh, premium payment to if it, to our part-time employees equal to half of what full-time employees get. Okay. Okay. So to to explain that. Our full-time employees that were hired prior to April 1st, you know, during the during the, the thick of the pandemic, and you know, when, when these 
funds became available, we said that we would uh, we would pay each one of those individuals twenty five hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, those hired after April first <coughs> to receive fifteen hundred. Okay. I think Dan said the, those payments are, are going to be coming out, so I'm sure the employees will be glad to see those. Uh, Part timers will receive get it hired before January, excuse me, April first. 2021, they will receive uh, $1,250, $1,250. Okay. Hired after uh, April 1st, they receive $750. Okay. And in addition to that, we, we certainly don't want to forget our volunteer firemen because they're the ones on the front line doing, doing all this. So uh, we are, I'm going to be uh, talking with Chief Ritchie and we would like to make a, a donation to the Scottsburg Volunteer Fire Department. So, awesome. So those are the things that we can expect. Okay. Do we need to make a motion for a res this in a resolution? Uh, I, I think what we need to do is to get with uh, Josh and let him, get, you know, we can't, I don't think we can take an official action without some sort of a resolution or an ordinance or whatever this might take. Sure. So, you know, we'll need time to prepare that, but I, 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 I fully intend to see that passed, you know, on the 28th. That sounds great. And then uh, we'll, we'll go from He's there. at election board I, meeting. I, I, I know. This. I know. This evening, and so but I'll get with him prior to the okay. next regularly scheduled council meeting and we'll see if we can wrap that up. With these folks, I would let council know that it, I would we'll do some numbers on this, but because of those eight people that have to be paid out of their departments, I I don't feel we, we won't have to do another, I don't think we'll have to do a, a, another additional appropriation. Okay. Good deal. But this pay will not come until 2022. And, and I regret that, right. but at least mm -hmm. the employees will know that, that it's coming. The, it the is checks our, in the mail. Right. It is yeah. our intent to process for full timers next week so they would have it in time to do that last minute Christmas shopping. Okay. Yeah, and once again, it was not our intent to leave the part time. I agree. We, we all talked about that last time, and just want to reemphasize what President uh, uh, Rose has expressed. We do appreciate those folks. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Council, for you know for all that you've done. It's been very, very generous and very kind. And uh, you know, so, so the, yeah. So the the resolution will clarify. So next meeting we'll have a resolution. We'll, we'll have. I, I don't know if it's a resolution or an ordinance or what, whatever, whatever Josh feels like we need to have. We'll ask him to have it prepared, and we'll uh, we'll certainly try to get that passed as soon as possible. Um, what else does before council this evening? Once you know that we are continuing on the line, I think we began uh, on. Lakeshore Drive, we, we complete all the way from US 31, down Lakeshore Drive. If you notice today, we're going at, at Lakeshore Drive, where Bulls Liquor is at, and going along Highway 31. We'll go down to Woodland, we'll go all the way up Woodland, then we're, we're going to plan on doing all the beach as well. So, so just to give you a heads up, that's what is, uh, uh, this is one. What else is before us this evening concerning the city? Yep, just a reminder that this Friday, December 17th at 1130, we will be having the city employee Christmas luncheon. Yes, and what, what time and where at? 1130 at the Science Park from 1130 to 1. So please come and join us. Come and join us. So, uh, so, uh, what else? Gene, what do you got for us tonight? I'm good. So, uh, anything else? Anything? Okay. Then we have, do we have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion. First, next motion to adjourn.